a state in the Indian Union, not today, from the very beginning. Okay, we, but we have a real problem here. I think what we're all getting at, step back one second in order to answer your question, is that what we're lacking is a strong independent judiciary and a strong independent police force. There was no way when, when uh, Modi did his attacks, uh, even if you can't prove that he started it, he, he fueled it, and he, he said it was a good thing, he put a seal of approval. There was no way, even if he had directed them himself, that we could have gotten back to him because the police are voted in, the judges are voted in, the, they're handpicked by their political masters, and at the time, the central government was the same party as Gujarat, the BJP. There was no way you were going to get the indictment. And even now, we're seeing in Arissa, where you have anti-Christian violence, with the lack of judiciary and the lack of a proper police force, even when the central government is a different government than the ruling party, the central government is not able to intervene because the local police, they're not allowing travel. We were supposed to take an investigatory team. We couldn't take them over because of uh, the travel ban and because the police said we can't sufficiently protect you. They do not have the power because they do not have the political independence that they need. Going back, however, to Modi in Gujarat, the economic success, anybody that makes that argument, you need to take them and say, look at Andhra Pradesh, look at Bangalore. Those states did not need to impose a reign of fear in order to have economic success. Bob, at the heart of the issue is the collapse of the judiciary? Well, I don't know if that's at the heart of it, but it's certainly without a free, independent, and active judiciary, the people have no, no place to look for redress. So, uh, and, and perhaps you're right. I, I, I shouldn't have started as I did. One of the things that a democracy has to have in order to function is a free and active uh, judiciary because... People are human beings. There's going to be wrong. There's going to be problems. If you cannot take it to an independent judiciary, where do you go with it? If you're wrong, where do you go with it? If a politician does something wrong, how do you expose it without a judiciary? That has to be at the basis and the core of a democracy. Yeah. The judiciary is not independent. That's number one. It's very corrupt. Judges are handpicked. There is no jury trial. I mean, you can get a $5,000, get anybody killed in a broad, broad daylight, $5,000 will get you off the hook. This is the situation in India even today. So judiciary is very, very corrupt, and unless we correct the judiciary, this thing will keep on